Welcome to Pandora FMS channel. In this video, we will explain how to create and configure WMI modules remotely in Pandora FMS. To start off, we will briefly talk about what a WMI module is. Windows Management Instrumentation is a Microsoft system that allows you to obtain all kinds of information locally or remotely in Windows operating systems. By default, Windows devices don't have remote WMI enabled, so this configuration must be done beforehand on the devices to be monitored. We will start from the point where we have the remote WMI configured on our computers. In the same way as with other modules, before starting you must enable its corresponding server. In this case, the WMI server, which is already enabled by default in new installations. Still, let's see what the process will be like. So go to Pandora FMS server configuration file slash etc slash Pandora slash Pandora underscore server .conf, and we will set the WMI server entry to 1. So it is activated once we restart Pandora FMS server. Now we can access Pandora FMS web console and start creating our model. Go to Resources, Agents and select or create, if it is the case, your agent. We will use the Modules option to create a new module. For more details on how to create and manage agents, you can go to our agent creation videos on our channel. Once in the Models section, use the drop-down to select the option to create a new WMI server module. As with the rest of the servers with Windows, you can create a manual configuration or use one of the many default options in the selection of the component library model, depending on the type of monitoring of your choosing. Once you select a library, you can choose a specific model type. As for any other module, there are data that you will have to define, mainly type of data that the module expects to receive, the thresholds that will mark the warning status and the critical status, and the target IP, which by default will be that of the agent, but any other can be indicated in this field. In case of choosing manual configuration, define which WMI query you are going to use. That means the command that you are going to launch so that the data to be monitored are obtained. Also, enter a username and password, taking into account that the user must have the appropriate permissions on the remote device for queries to be made. In the creation menu, as in other types of modules, you will have a series of advanced options to carry out more specific monitoring, such as labels, custom values, cascade protection or silent mode. Once all the necessary options are defined, just create the module and as soon as it receives data, it will be shown in the Agent View section. In case the module does not start and you think there's an error, edit it from the Agents module section. It should be noted that agents have module creation wizards and among them there's one specific for WMI models as an alternative to WMI model mass creation. In this one also add data such as the target IP and authentication, username and password and launch the WMI browser that will show a series of predefined metrics available on the target server that you can add to your monitoring with just a few clicks. And that was it for today's video, we hope you found it useful as an introduction to Pandora FMS WMI modules and you can leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below or ask directly on our website. And don't forget, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Remember that if you're interested in trying Pandora FMS Enterprise, you can contact us to get a free 30-day trial. See you soon, bye!